That's what they saying that nigga OTF Jam did, bro. He's like, everybody call him a rat. He ain't a rat. He ain't going for none of that. You feel me? Yo, what's the word, gang? So, shit, I just came up there off of academics, you know what I'm saying? And um, we was discussing a few things. But uh, when it came down to Lil Dirt, man, this is just crazy, man. Lil Dirt definitely got some informants on that case. Definitely got some people who don't like them. You know what I'm saying? They looking at it different. You feel me? They ain't looking at the bigger picture, apparently. This man is worth twenty, thirty million dollars, man. Now, that don't mean nothing. It's like, okay, what are you gonna do for me? That's what most people will think, right? That's what them guys is thinking. I'm gonna be honest with you. And it's a crazy situation because Lil Dirk, he ain't changed his life. He say he ain't dissing no more. He ain't um, uh, you know, doing a lot of things he used to do. You feel me? And academics had to put me up on game. He said, look, man, the feds don't care about him not doing that no more. They care about what he done in his past. And I have to agree. That's the whole problem. They don't care about what he doing today. They care about what he doing yesterday. And I asked him, I was like, yo, academics, what you think about the fact that they had this indictment, you know what I'm saying? They went to the grand jury and they met in June. They could have unsealed this last month or the month before or even in June, right? Why they wait till now to unseal this document? And he was telling me like, look, man, they probably was thinking that they was going to crash out at that event. Lil Dirk got all these different people in the building. So-called ops and et cetera. Maybe they was going to crash out or maybe Lil Durk was going to set them up and he was going to do something outrageous. So the feds can clock that, right? That didn't take place, of course. You know, young guy lost his life, man. Salute to that brother. You know, it ain't have nothing to do with Dirk. It happened outside of the concert, you know, in regards to um, a robbery. You know, salute to dude, but he lost his life. But, uh, you know, they not counting that on dirt. But the other things that are, you know, OTF, DD, like what's crazy is they even said that, look, when they went to go spin, they spent the block. They got a little pad. They didn't get Quando Rondo. The very next day, they went to Quando Rondo Hotel to try to get him again for the second time. That's the type of things that was on the, you know what I'm saying, the issue. He also told me, like, how he think that cooperator number two, you know what I'm saying, co-conspirator, rather, pardon me, number two has something to do with this whole case. Like, he think that, that person is the informant. Now, one thing I do know, I didn't ask Academic this because I was watching the stream earlier today, just like everybody else was. He thought Conspirator 1 was Lil Dirk. Come to find out, they arrested Lil Dirk. Lil Dirk got arrested today, yeah. He got arrested behind these things, and they was having a discussion with Flacco, and Flacco, he made his video in regards to uh, Quando Rondo's situation. Brick Baby and how Brick Baby could be involved in, you know, shout out Trap News Network. But I even seen him pop out and he put out there how that could be a situation. You feel me? Well, Brick Baby could be going to the feds. Now, WAC 100 had told me plenty of times that that man got a fed case. Now, the reason I never questioned it is because. When he first got picked up, a guy by the name of Sadie Nash, he did a video on him. He said he went and looked on all the LAPD, all the county stuff, and he didn't see him. And he even alluded to, like, maybe he arrested by the feds. Come to find out, Brick Baby, he come home, he give us this elaborate story. He like, yo, they came in, they got me. 
They had drones come through my crib and, you know, the whole nine. But then when Wack was talking to Adam 22, Adam 22 said that Brick had a fed case. Now, this don't mean nothing. Don't get me wrong. This don't mean nothing. This might not have nothing to do with Lil Dirk. But at the end of the day, man, if it's a duck and it quack like a duck, more than likely it's a duck. You feel me? Now, is he involved in this case? I don't know. I just think it's strange how he put certain things in front of everybody. He told everybody what was really going on. And now, look, bro, Lil Dirk has been arrested. He in jail. You know what I'm saying? Smirkio is in jail, gang. He in jail. He getting booked right now. Well, he already booked because his information had already popped up on, you know what I'm saying, the federal BOP. You feel me? And um, y'all know what that mean. That mean he... he yeah, I also asked him, though. Lil Dirk made that lyric. He said, in 10 years, I'm going to be in the feds. What that mean? He said it was spiritual. He said, that's also probably why Lil Dirk was so spiritual in these moments. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, man, that man took his shahada, so free him. Yo, it's definitely Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in.